And Alana, I want you to join me here at the rostrum, the, or the whatever you want to lectern, maybe. Not an auction, is it? So now we don't need the boys here for the meantime, so. Hey. We don't need a thorn among the roses. Right -o. Girls, I hope you've enjoyed the, the night and the occasion the last few days and the whole thing around the, the Irish Rose of Tralee. hope it's something that's uh, an experience that you're going to take with you and, and maybe you can encourage other young ladies to, to take part in the competition in years to come. Maybe one of you is going to become our Rose of Tralee for 2013 for New Zealand and you'll be crowned by our beautiful Alana there who is going to do her very last duty or second to last duty as the New Zealand Rose of Tralee by joining me over here and having a wee chat to me, telling me a little bit about, and telling you guys a little bit about what to expect, and a wee bit about the last 12 months. And I think you probably want to thank it to a few people too. Lana, I'll hand the microphone to you. Great, thank you very much. Um, it's quite short, I don't want to keep you guys too long, because I know everyone's really excited to find out who the 2013 New Zealand Rose will be. Um, so I'd like, just like to start off by thanking everyone for coming tonight from far and wide, from just down the road, um, especially all our beautiful roses. I have had the pleasure of um, hanging out with them for the last couple of days and it has been awesome. They're seriously cool chicks and um, yeah, I'm just stoked that I've had the opportunity to meet them all. Um, and I'm incredibly proud of my Irish heritage, um, but I'm also very proud of Taranaki and so it's been great to show you girls around and um, what we sometimes call paradise. Um, tonight I have really mixed emotions. Uh, firstly, I feel incredibly excited for all these girls here and just really proud because they've done so well. I feel a bit sad that my year's over as the Taranaki and the New Zealand Rose. Um, but also there's a bit of a sense of relief in there too. Um, but mostly I just feel so incredibly grateful for this experience and um, all the people that it's given me the opportunity to meet and all that I've learned along the way. Um, before entering the Rose of Tralee, I understood what the festival was about, but now I appreciate why it is just so special. Um, for each rose, it's an opportunity to meet lifelong friends, explore their Irish heritage. It's um, an opportunity to grow as a person in a really supportive environment. And really, the main thing is to have a whole heap of fun and an incredible adventure. So, um, you know, it's not only the roses that join in, it's everybody. It's all of the Irish communities, um, also like you, all here tonight, but also share in the journey. Um, it all hasn't been completely rosy, to be honest. Um, when my name was called as the New Zealand final last year, I was totally shocked. I was excited, but I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this again, but in front of more people. It's so scary. Um, so, you know, one of the main reasons I wasn't going to enter is because I was terrified of public speaking. Um, so it's been challenging, it's been nerve-wracking, but through finding courage and digging deep, um, I've found that confidence and realised that it's not so scary and it can actually be quite fun. And um, I think it, you know, it's really great to see so many people up there, so, and I really enjoy watching others, so it's great to be one of those that can actually be up here and speak as well. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you to last year's judges and Barbara's here this evening, um, you know, for seeing, for believing in me and giving me this opportunity to grow. Um, it's just been fantastic, and also to my family and friends who have given me so much support um, just throughout the year. So on behalf of the Roses, I would like to um, thank all of those involved in the Irish clubs. There are so many passionate people out there. And uh, it's because of you that all of us have the opportunity to be a part of the wider, you know, Rose of Tralee community, um, which is just amazing. Um, a special mention goes out tonight to Louise Bueller. She's the president of the Taranaki Irish Club, and um, her dedication has been absolutely amazing. She's been up till three o'clock in the morning, I don't know for how long, how many nights. But she's put in heaps of hard work, and I just really want to acknowledge that. You've done a spectacular job over the last three days. So thank you so much. Um, 
I'd also like to mention Hannah Crowley, who um, has done another number two. Yeah, she's actually a, um, she's a doctor at the children's ward up at the hospital, and she's been doing night shifts in the evenings, and then she's been coming down and helping out with the Rose and Trilly during the day, and she she goes away on Monday over to Europe, so she's incredibly busy, and she's done a, an amazing job as well, so thanks, Hannah. Cool. And there's lots of other people behind the scenes, so thanks everyone, but I won't mention more. Um, I would like to mention my parents, because they're fantastic. And um, during this um, journey, there's been huge highs, there's been lows, there's been a trip to Ireland and back. You know, it's, it's been incredible, and um, this whole time you guys have just been my rock. And um, you've really embraced the adventure, and it just wouldn't have been nearly as much fun or as easy without you. So I'm truly grateful, thank you. Um, there's just, um, oh, actually I'll start again. So the Rose of Trilly has been a reason for many gatherings of the Marshall and Flanagan clans. Um, so there's just two people that I'd like to acknowledge tonight. That is both of my lovely granddads. So there's Dandy, who lives just down the road from me, and he travelled to Wellington last year when I was crowned. Um, which is awesome, so thank you for coming. And also my papa, um, he is 93 and he's almost 93 in July, and he's travelled all the way from Hamilton with my aunt and uncle. So it's just really special to have them here to celebrate tonight. So thank you so much. Okay, so as the Rose of Truly chapter in my life, um, the chapter begins to close. For another, it is just the beginning. Um, so to all the contestants, you know, you are incredible girls and no matter what the result just know that you've done a wonderful job and you've made your family and friends so proud tonight um, and to the person who wins um, you have an incredible adventure ahead and um, I've actually just bought flights to move to um, Ireland in July so I'll be over there to support you and I actually can't wait so um, yeah I'm going to be moving there for years it's going to be brilliant but yeah I just can't wait to be in Tralee to support that person it's going to be amazing so without any further ado I'm going to pass you on to Peter and we're going to crown someone <laughs> oh, thank you Alana a lovely a lovely um Touching address and, and thanking all the people that have been part of it. And I know it's been a special, special year, but we want to thank you, us, all of us here, the Irish people, the, the New Zealand, for the way you have represented us and made us so proud. Very proud table over there, but a very proud room full of people. You've been absolutely wonderful. Now, we understand we are going to lose you, that there's tickets to head back to Ireland. Uh, I've got to wonder if there's something drawing you back there. I'm not allowed to ask, am I? No. But anyway, what's this space? Alana, it's our losses there again. It's going to be wonderful over there, but hopefully we do see you back here in some time, not too long. Right, a big round of applause for Alana. Wonderful, wonderful road to believe. Now, I am going to ask a few people to join me on the stage. Now, I'm going to ask Rodney Walsh to uh, join me up here. Uh, um, Rodney's going to say a word or two. I've got, I'd like to ask Barbara Murray, our head judge, who also was a New Zealand Rose of Tralee winner uh, not too many years ago. And I'm going to ask Mrs Josie Hogan, a woman who has a huge amount of involvement with this Irish club and this particular competition, to also join me up here. Where's Josie? See over the back there? Right, just make your way up here, Josie. Rodney, can I ask you to, to um, come up here and invite you to say a few words? A man a few words is our Rodney. Here we go. You should never ask an Irishman to say a few words. <laughs> oh well, it's another hour. <laughs> Just thinking, that when you get to my age, three things happen to you. First, you lose your memory. I can't, I can't remember the other two. <laughs> I was, <laughs> you just got it. <laughs> Can you remember it? <laughs> I, just thinking, uh, I looked at the programme 
and I realized it was 40 years ago when Tourism Ireland rang me. Yeah, I wasn't even the consul then to say that Rose of Tralee is in problems. Could you do something about it? And so I got involved. And so we built it up. I used to do the interviewing. Then I got to the stage when I started to interview the daughters of some of the roses I'd interviewed. I thought my time was getting up. And then I actually was about to interview the granddaughter. <laughs> and that was my day. But it was marvellous to see that the Hutt Valley has taken the, this over and, and they are protecting this competition. And also Taranaki for the excellent, excellent evening they presented tonight. I've been, I think, to every national final that was held in Taranaki, I've been at. I'm still waiting to be announced the winner, or I'm living hope. <laughs> but they're always being superlative. Because what you've seen tonight is one little flake of gold. And these little flakes have been made all around the world as the Rose of Tralee to the regionals. There's a rose picked. We're going to the national. There's a rose picked. It's happening country after country and country. And all these flakes of gold are being gathered and brought together into the golden rose that is in Tralee, where you'll see this incredible competition that brings the communities of Irish and friends of the Irish for all the way around to, together in the world to this incredible competition. And congratulations, and I'm delighted I am not a judge. There would be absolutely no way. But there's one marvellous thing about the rose. Well, there's only one winner. All the others come second. So you have got to come second, no question. And my respect for the competition is so great that I do this. I don't tell my wife about this because I use her bank account. <laughs> but I'm going to give this to Josie to pass on when she speaks to her. But it's the, a check to the winning roles for $1,000. Josie, for you. Okay, now the moment has come, ladies and gentlemen, where we are going to tell you who our 2013 Rose is. Before I do that, I'm going to ask Barbara, our head judge, to say a few words and uh, pass the envelope to Mrs. Josie Hogan, who will have the honour of uh, reading the, the name of the Rose to you. Barbara? I'll only just take a wee minute, because I was standing in exactly this spot 30 years ago, so I know how absolutely nervous you must all be. I do want to very quickly thank our fellow judges, um, Lindley Ladd and Joe Deegan. Um, we've had a, um, it's been an unbelievably difficult job, honestly. Um, we could have chosen any one of you and every one of you, and that's what we really wanted to do, but we could only choose one person. And I absolutely want you all to recognise and acknowledge um, your achievements in actually getting here today. That's been a prize in itself. But I'm going to pass this over to... And ladies and gentlemen, the 2013 Rose of Tralee for New Zealand to represent us in Kerry in August of this year, along with a thousand dollars from the Irish Consulate, is Jordina. <laughs> well done to our Canterbury Rose, Miss Jordina Carpenter. Judina is going to say, quick, thank you, then we're going to present it with a ribbon. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make this really quick. I just want to thank um, everyone who's here today, um, especially the girls, um, Anna Lana, um, the Taranaki Irish Society, the three judges, 
um, Hannah and Cheryl have been amazing driving us around and um, doing everything for us and organising everything for us. Um, it's been, I've had such a fantastic time here and I think um, all of you are just wonderful and I just feel so privileged. So thank you. Thank you very much. wishes and our, our, our good our very best wishes to all the people of Ireland from New Zealand and good luck. <laughs> 